Hi guys, this is Public Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate WooCommerce to Xero. So as you know, WooCommerce is an awesome e-commerce platform and Xero is an online accounting software. So basically what we are trying to do is anytime a new order is created in WooCommerce, that data will be automatically inserted into Xero as invoices. But WooCommerce and Xero are two different companies. Hence, there is no direct integration between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate WooCommerce to Xero. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, you have to visit the website called as Pabli Connect. So this is the website. Here click on sign in. Okay, so when you click on sign in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. Now you can also build your own account in just two minutes. Now bring your attention to the connect part. Here click on access now. Now you will find a button called as create a new workflow. Just click it. Okay, when you click on this button, a dialog box appears in front of you. So in this dialog box, you have to enter the workflow name. I'm going to enter WooCommerce to zero. WooCommerce to zero. Then click on save. When you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. In the choose app, change it from webhook to WooCommerce. In the choose method, we have to change it from the default new coupon created to new order created. So basically what is trying to do is whenever there is a new order created, the system will trigger. Now let's go to our WooCommerce page. So this is the WooCommerce. Here click on settings. This one. Okay, at the right corner, you will find an option called as advanced. Just click it. Now bring your attention to the part called as webhooks. Just click it. Okay, so it is demanding to add a webhook. Just click this button called as add webhook. Okay, so this is the page called as the webhook data. Here we have to assign a name to this webhook. I'm going to give a random name, webhook. Then change the status from disabled to active. Now coming to the topic, the topic has to be changed to order created. So the point is whenever there is a new order created in WooCommerce, the data will be sent as invoices in zero. So change the topic as uh, order created, this one. To get the delivery URL, just go back to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the delivery URL you want. It is also known as the webhook URL. Copy this and paste it here. The secret will remain empty and the API version will be WP REST API integration v3. Then click on save webhook. So it is showing that the webhook has been created. So it basically means we have successfully integrated WooCommerce to Pabli Connect. Now let's see whether Pabli Connect can capture any response from WooCommerce. To do that, let's go to Pabli Connect, scroll down and click on this button called as capture webhook response. Okay, so it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. So let's go to WooCommerce again and create a response. Click on all products. Okay, so as you can see, I have made a ton of dummy products and uh, let me purchase this product, Apple Watch Series 5, this one. Click on view and click on add to cart. As you can see in the checkout page, I have already entered the dummy details of a dummy customer. The email address is drawhat123 at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Luffy and the last name is Garb. The company is One Piece. The address is Mountain Hill. The country is India. The city is Bhopal. The county is Andhra Pradesh and the postal code is 4620 and 23. Then click on place order. Okay, it's showing that the purchase has been made. So let's see whether Pabli Connect has captured this data or not. Go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. Just give it one or two seconds. Okay, as you can see, the data has been captured. So let's scroll down and see what all data has been captured. Okay, so the first name is uh, Luffy. The last name is uh, Garp. The company is One Piece. Address is Mountain Hill and the address true is Shakti Nagar. The email is strawhat123 at the rate gmail.com. So basically the presence of this data means that we have successfully integrated WooCommerce to Pabli Connect and that and Pabli Connect has captured this data. Now we have to basically sync this data 
to 0. To do that, scroll down and at the bottom of this trigger window, you will find this plus button. Just click it. So when you click on this plus button, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to 0. In the choose method, change it from create an item to create an invoice. Then click on connect. Okay, in select your credentials, we have to keep it as new credentials. In the authorized application, just click on connect. So Pabli is now asking for access, just click on continue. As you can see, it is showing that the authorization is successful. Click on OK. Now, as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is we have to create a prototype invoice. So in the organization, it is showing that demo company global. The reason it is showing that is because it has already mapped that this detail. OK, this is my company called as demo company. So it has already mapped it in the type. We have to change it from a bill to a sales invoice. In the name, we have to enter the data we have fetched, the customer's name, name that is Luffy, then the last name, Garth. Email address, yes, we also have mapped this. Date, let's keep it as date created. Due date, uh, let's keep it as date modified. In the branding, let's keep it as standard, line amount, let's keep it that way. Currency, United States dollar. Status, let's keep it as draft. Send to contact true. The coming to the quantity that's important. Uh, quantity is one. The unit amount. Let's see the price. That should be yes, three hundred. And uh, let's uh, keep rest of the data as empty. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that it has sent the data to zero. So let's check whether we have a person called as Luffy in zero as as an invoice. So let's go into zero. Here in the business, you will find the invoice. Yes, we have a person called as Luffy. So the presence of this invoice shows that we have successfully connected WooCommerce to zero with help of Public Connect. This means anytime a new order is created by the customer in WooCommerce, that data will be automatically created as an invoice in Xero. But for your satisfaction, let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not. To do that, let's go back to Public Connect and let's save this. OK, it's showing that it has been saved successfully. Click on OK, then scroll up and minimize this. Save this again. OK and minimize this. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, we have integrated WooCommerce to Public Connect and then we have integrated Public Connect to Xero. So there is a perfect flow of data between WooCommerce and Xero. Now let's check one more time if our integration is working fine or not. To do that, let's purchase one more product. This time I'm going to purchase a Swiss watch. Click on view. OK, then add to cart. OK, so this is the checkout page. As you can see, I already have filled in the dummy details of another customer. So this is the email address Aaron Manuel 1991. The first name is Aaron and the last name is Manuel. The company is STD. The address is 196 sector 2. Then click on place order. OK, so it is showing that the purchase has been made. So let's check in the invoices of zero whether we have a person called as Aaron. So going to zero uh, business invoices. Yes, we have a person called as Aaron and uh, this is the invoice. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, whenever a new product is purchased in your WooCommerce store, an invoice will be automatically created in Xero. Also, you should know not just WooCommerce and Xero, you can integrate a ton of applications using Public Connect. Thanks.